YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at the MKA Whippet. This is a World War I medium tank. It is 135th scale and this is a TACOM kit. These kits are usually pretty nice. Okay, so see that's the front of the box. There is the side. Comes with several decals. You can do it several different ways. There is the other side, 14 and up. That's going to show you everything is coming with it. A couple other tanks that they sell. That one right there is really cool. I have to get me one of those sometime. And there is the other side. So that is the box. Okay, so inside of the box, you're going to find all these tank treads. I'm going to zoom in on them. I'm not taking those out of the bag. I don't want to lose any of those. But as you can see, they're highly detailed. That is going to be a lot of work putting those on to make that look right. Okay, there are two sprues that look like this. The front and the back. Take you in on those. One thing I love about Tacom, uh, they make those bags where you can open them up and close them and don't have to worry about the pieces falling out in case they come off of the sprue. But you're gonna get two of these sprues, just like this. Okay, here's the next sprue. You're gonna get two of these as well. Just kinda zoom in on those. Hear the uh, snow thrower outside running. We got hit with that snow. It's quite a bit out there. All right, let's flip it, show you the other side. And like I said, you're gonna get two of these sprues. Here is the next one. Take a look at that. That looks really good. Get a close up of that. Checking all those out. Looking at all that detail. Uh, flip it, that's the interior though. There is the other sprue. Let's get in some of that detail on that. They look really, really good. I like said tack on models. They really put nice de uh, details in and Everything just looks good. And that is the last sprue. I mean, this kit looks like a pretty easy build. This kit does come with some photo etch parts. As you can see right there. And there are some of the decals that you can use. And last but not least, we have the instruction manual, which as you can see, very nice, very detailed, and it even shows you the colors and decal placement at the ends, different ways you can paint that, oops, which is always really cool. Got some other models here, actually did a review on that one. But yeah, very nice, very nice kit. Um, looks pretty easy to build. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, take time to thank a veteran. Uh, be safe in the snow. And God bless.